How's it going folks? This is Jeff Benjamin. In this video, I consider iOS 16.2 beta 2 and all the new changes and features found inside. So again, iOS 16.2 beta 2, here it is right here. Let's take a look at that build number 20C5043E for those keeping score at home. Now, one of the changes you'll notice is the smaller version number. When you go into settings and then go into software update, you'll see the version number there uh, is not bold and it isn't as large as in the previous beta. Now, you'll also notice that the lock screen camera bug, which prevented you from going back to the lock screen when you opened up the camera from the lock screen has been fixed. That is a good thing because that was super annoying. But now on beta two, you'll notice you can get back to the lock screen just by swiping up like that. Now this new feature, custom accessibility mode, isn't actually visible quite yet in beta two, but my friends over at 9to5Mac, who are by far the best at this sort of thing, have uncovered this feature and have uncovered screenshots as well. So what this does basically streamlines the UI with the goal of making your iPhone easier to use. Now, who is this for? Well, think about older users who have a very difficult time navigating around a smartphone. Well, this could be very handy for those users. So custom accessibility mode, as you can see here from the screenshots, gives you a streamlined interface, a larger UI, larger text, gives you preferred layout options and many other options and settings as well. And 9to5Mac has uncovered many screenshots showing custom accessibility mode in action. So you can see it is sort of rudimentary and basic in design, but again, that's by design. Because when you have such a simplified interface, it becomes a lot more accessible to those who otherwise wouldn't even attempt to use an iPhone. And another big 16.2 feature, 5G finally comes to India, so you have carriers like Geo and Airtel. Check the description for a screenshot attribution. Now, Freeform, which of course was initially revealed at WWDC 2022 and was finally made available in iOS 16.2 developer beta one. Well, now in beta two, you have access to settings for Freeform. So uh, Freeform of course is sort of like supercharged notes app with elements from the iWork suite as well. A uh, very interesting application. And here in beta two, you have settings for freeform. So you can set up alignment guides. There's also acknowledgements. Now this isn't a 16.2 feature, but I wanted to mention it because in 16.1.1, the everyone setting for airdrop is capped at 10 minutes in China. The reason for this, according to Bloomberg, is because protesters were using it to spread images to other iPhone users. Uh, but now that's been capped at just 10 minutes. Uh, for the everyone setting and reportedly that's going to roll out to more territories in the future. Now here's a quick tip. If you go to control center, long press on the toggles and then long press on airdrop, you can quickly change that setting there as well. Now back to beta two, you'll notice that animated album artwork like this right here now features translucent assets for the play and shuffle buttons. You can see it compared to the previous beta here on the right. And you'll also notice that the genre along with other song information features translucency as well. And you can kind of see that expressed even more as you move like that. Pretty cool update. And speaking of cool, the music app transport controls. We know we've had these animations here for a while on the live activity on the lock screen. So you can see the animation that occurs when tapping the skip or go back button. And you get the same animation when you open up your control center. Now playing interface. That looks cool. But here's the thing in 16.2 beta two, the same animation for those buttons comes to the transport controls in the now playing interface within the music app itself. So that lends a little bit more consistency across the UI. Now, you'll notice more status bar icons for 14 Pro users next to the dynamic island. Previously, when you would, for instance, minimize the music app and it, the music would appear in the dynamic island, the signal bars for cellular would disappear, but now, uh, they still stay on the screen. So here's the previous version. Of course, I don't have a cellular connection, but you can kind of get the point here. You notice that the Wi-Fi bars disappear. 
Now in 16.2, you get the live activities, more frequent updates option. So unfortunately I can't follow this game because the game's over and there's no other NBA games going on right now. But I've showed you before in the TV app, you can follow live sporting events and they will appear as live activities in the dynamic island and of course on the lock screen as well. Uh, so this is just running the Lifton app just to show you an example of an app with the live activity. But here, if you go to settings and you go to the TV preference, you'll see live activities. And this was here before, but when you tap on that, now you get options, more frequent updates. So you can have more frequent updates for live activities to give you even more real-time information or more accurate real-time information, but it comes at the expense of battery life. So keep that in mind. Now, previously you had the live activity section, but nothing was there. Now you'll also find new lock screen widgets in 16.2 beta 2, particularly related to the health app. So we're gonna scroll down here. You see home health. Now here in 16.2 beta one, no health. So inside health, you have two widgets, two medications widgets, same widgets, different sizes. So we'll go ahead and add both of them. And basically this is just a link to the health app and the medication log within the health app. So I've added those to the lock screen. Now you can tap on either one of them and that'll open up the health app and take you to your medication log. Now, if you wanna access a linked focus for a lock screen, you used to be able to just simply tap it and it would open, but now you have to actually long press. So previously you could just tap like this, like that. But again, in beta two, you have to long press. So I guess that would eliminate accidental taps for your lock screen focus link. Now here's an extremely useful feature when using photo wallpaper on your lock screen. I wish I would have had this years ago because I can't tell you how many times I have searched for a lock screen wallpaper that I set, a custom wallpaper. Well now you have the option to show photo in library and that'll take you directly to the photo that you use for your lock screen image. Super handy new feature for sure. Now. I think this next feature is probably a bug fix, but previously for your album artwork, when you had full screen album artwork and you were in sleep mode, you'll notice that the little alarm was superimposed on top of the album artwork, which was kind of annoying to me. But now here in beta two, that is no longer the case. So again, looks like a bug fix and it's a good bug fix because like I said, I found that super annoying. What about you guys? Now, here's something I sort of just ran into at the last minute, I wanted to add it in here. So when you disable private relay in 16.2 beta two, you have the option to turn it off until tomorrow. Uh, previously, you could just keep it on or turn it off, but now you can turn it off until tomorrow. And when you do that, you'll see a message, private relay will automatically turn back on tomorrow. So pretty cool new feature. What do you guys think about 16.2 beta 2? Let me know down below in the comments section. Thumbs up if you appreciate this video and subscribe for more videos like this. This is Jeff with Sailor.